Hey, wait a second. That's my job. You'll have to forgive my Second Life avatar, Bugsy Bailey. Sometimes he can't tell a metaverse from the real world, like the one where I, Joe Washington, bring you the latest videos on multimedia on IBM TV. Now, metaverse is like Second Life, where Bugsy lives, they're more than just a game. Second Life, along with other Web 2.0 and social computing technologies, are changing the way the web works. In fact, IBM has helped Sears and Circuit City set up virtual showrooms in Second Life. This time on IBM TV, we'll look at some new IBM adventures in Second Life, introduce you to some new software that brings social computing to business, and help you discover new ways to share knowledge through building communities in both the real and virtual worlds. Let's go. At Lotusphere 2007, IBM unveiled the first ever integrated social software platform for businesses. It's called IBM Lotus Connections, and it's promising to impact the workplace the way sites like MySpace, YouTube, Facebook, and others are changing the nature of the Internet. It's the only key that we know to really enable a very large organization to act as a small community. Because the community is not a permanent community. At Deutsche Bank, I don't know 75,000 people, okay? Believe me, I don't. But I can access each and every one of them based on their interest at any time because I know how to get to them without knowing who they are. Lotus Connection is the ideal tool to achieve social computing. It enables us to go in, interact with people on the social level, identify all the resources that we need to achieve our job and find them within that same space. Hear more from C.V. Gall and Giora Hadar as they talk about their plans for Lotus Connections on IBM TV. And be sure to see an introduction to Lotus Connections that shows how it can help leverage organizational knowledge to solve problems and drive innovations inside and outside of your organization. The upcoming IBM Lotus Notes and Domino 8 were also featured at Lotusphere. They will be enhanced with a fresh, more intuitive user interface and new capabilities like composite applications, activity-centric computing, and productivity tools for creating and sharing documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. Be sure to check out the reactions from Lotus Notes and Domino experts here on IBM TV. And if you weren't able to make it to Lotusphere, there's still time to get the Lotusphere Comes to You. It's IBM's way of bringing the excitement of Lotusphere to a location near you. And of course, you can also attend a Lotusphere Comes to You event in Second Life. So get your avatar some new duds and teleport over to the Lotus Complex. While you're in World, you should check out what's going on at the IBM Impact 2007 Complex. You can take a tour of IBM's SOA Hub and gear up your avatar for what promises to be a defining SOA event in 2007. SOA provides a medium to, to really tie our technology with our strategic plans as a business. And what SOA is allowing me to do is to look at the processes, look at the changes that I need to make, and we can leverage the investments that we've made in the past and carry that forward. It's a good thing. Stories like Gary's will be one of the key features at the upcoming IBM Impact 2007, May 20th through the 25th in Orlando. Uh, in the real world, that is. His is just one of 75 companies that will be there to share their experiences. It's the perfect opportunity to get the information and contacts that you need to make SOA a success in your organization or take your SOA initiative to new heights. And if you can't make it to Orlando, IBM is hosting a special version of Impact 2007 in Second Life, including live feeds from the event into Second Life and from Second Life to the live event. You'll be able to get details at the Impact 2007 website. Now, let's turn from the virtual world to changing the world. Kathy Ames always thought the government could work better. Just go on up to third floor. You need building two. Your files just aren't here. Can someone get them for me? It'll take a couple of days. Got any coffee? 
Those are just a few scenes from the trailer for IBM's public server movie. It's not just businesses that need trusted information, the kind that IBM's information server delivers. Governments, big and small, healthcare organizations, and educational institutions need the right information at the right time, too. Watch and see how IBM Information Server is changing things for the better. Information Server is a keystone to IBM's Information On Demand strategy. Another important part of Information On Demand is enterprise content management. On February 13th, IBM introduced IBM FileNet P8 4.0. It's a unified platform that enables you to introduce unstructured content emails, reports, documents, scanned images into your business processes and really put your content to work. A webcast here on IBM TV shows you how to succeed with enterprise content management. For the development community, IBM Rational is bringing a fresh focus to quality management when it comes to software delivery. It's much more than testing. Quality management is a strategic initiative that not only delivers better software, it can help you improve efficiency, lower risk and cost, and ultimately improve your business. Kim Corner, IBM Rational Offerings Manager, shows you how here on IBM TV. Developers get a real sense of how committed IBM is to the development community through its award-winning DeveloperWorks portal. It serves about 5 million developers, but what you might not know is DeveloperWorks also brings you live technical and business briefings around the world. Get your personal invite to one of these briefings from Kathy Mendelstein and Randy Powell of the IBM DeveloperWorks team here on IBM TV. The development community is also gathering in Second Life at the new IBM Code Station. Code Station is an island for Second Life coders and First Life developers where they can test their coding skills and contribute to the Second Life world. Plus, Code Station will have even more to offer when the Rational Software Development Conference 2007 gets underway on June 10th in Orlando. It's going to be a great event no matter what life you're in. We've talked about building communities and networking in both the real and virtual worlds. Now I'd like to introduce you to members of another community, the IBM Tivoli User Group community. If you're a Tivoli user, these groups provide an exceptional opportunity to share knowledge, learn from your colleagues, and make connections to generate innovation and solve problems. It's what will be happening at two big technical user conferences coming up on May 7th in San Francisco and June 11th in Rome. You can get registered right now. And if you want to join a Tivoli user group, you can get started at this website. Well, that's all at this time. I'm Joe Washington, and it's time for me to fly. Take us out of here, Bugsy. <laughs>